Hey y'all, come on in. Guess who? It's time to cook again. This is the story of my life, y'all. Let me tell y'all, we had a wonderful, wonderful um, Father's Day dinner yesterday. And I mean to tell you, we ate so much food yesterday. We ate up everything that I cooked. There were eight of us. And I mean to tell you, we I only cooked uh, the one meat, which was chicken. I fried up 36. I had to end up with 36 pieces of chicken. We had every bit of it, all the sides, everything. We were so full. The food was so good. It was a simple meal, but it was a good meal. And of course, I don't know if I sh I don't think I even put it on the video, but we did. Uh, we had those little pound cake loaves, and we ate two and a half of those, and just enjoyed ourselves. And um, we drank a little bit of my homemade wine. We drank grape soda. We drank fresh lemonade. We were so full. So today. Um, Lauren and Kareem are here with me. I I'm, I think I'm still on vacation because I feel tired. I feel like uh, I don't really need to eat today. They don't really need, they haven't even bugged me today by eating. So here we go today. I think I'm going to do some ramen noodle stir fry. So here we go. One here, another simple but good meal. My kids still love ramen noodles. So here I've got uh, peppers and onions sliced up. Here I'm sizzling over there in the pan. We get ready to saute those. We get them sauteed up. And I've got some, um, this is actually some of that packaged chicken that you use for fajitas. But we're going to use it to stir fry today. So I'm going to, when those peppers and onions get to a certain point, I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, fajita, the uh, chicken meat. I'm going to go ahead and get my noodles going here. I think I'm just going to use about four packs. All you do is just get them softened up. Not all the way like as if you're going to eat them. Um, right out of the bowl. And I'm sure y'all have cooked ramen noodles. Some people say that ramen noodles all of a sudden have become a health hazard. We don't eat them that often, but they still like them. So we're going to eat some today. I don't know uh, what the hike is. I can't remember. But there was a whole lot of uh, negative press about them. But... We'll do them every once in a while. I mean, good look. You know how to cook one of them. I need some more water in here. But seriously, though, uh, we just don't need a lot of food today. Because I guarantee, I guarantee that since uh, nobody's asked me about food, really, they're not even hungry. I promise you, my babies are not even hungry. Because I, I think they eat cereal. Well, yeah, eat cereal for breakfast. It's five o'clock in the evening. I feel I did eat some. I had some stuff left over in the refrigerator. Y'all know me and my leftovers, so I ate my leftovers. Hey, Laura, we're gonna have a ramen noodle stir fry. How's that? We had a lot of food. Now, Lauren didn't eat dinner with us yesterday. She was at her daddy's, but I'm sure they ate lots of food. So we're gonna eat something real simple here today. I just want to tune in with y'all. I, I might not, I don't know what I'm going to cook again after this because since we've been off of vacation, I have not didn't, done anything uh, with the arts council except I went to the jazz concert Friday and that was it. So I got to get back into the swing of things. Usually I shut down on Mondays anyway, so I'm just piddling around today. Not going to do a whole lot. So I'll get those three, four packs of ramen noodles in there. Of course, you know I'm going to use the little flavor packets. To season everything up when I get it all sauteed. Um, there's no need for a lot of uh, seasoning because these little seasoning packs are excellent. Um, but you do know I'm going to add some extra garlic to it. I'll do the garlic. And I'm sauteing my veggies over there in a uh, cup of oil. This is what you see here. Okay. Takes about 10 minutes to saute peppers and onions to the point where you want to use them uh, in what I'm doing anyway. So we're going to let them saute and get nice and soft and even turn a little bit brown. And I'm going to let my noodles sit over here and sort of continue to cook. Um, I mean, it's just not a big deal with this. And when you get done, you got to see a nice pan of stir fry. It's almost like those Singapore street noodles. 
and I'll make a little, um, probably a little, some kind of sauce to pour over it. Uh, these kids like uh, soy sauce, but um, I'm also going to use some of my garlic. You know what I, I discovered? Remember I showed you all at the end yesterday? I showed you my garlic powder, my mint start that I got from Sam's. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I got the uh, peppers and onions. I sauteed to the point now. I went ahead and put in the uh, chicken. So it's already. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of uh, this mint of garlic in there. Remember, I told y'all I got this big old jar of mint stuff. Is it frozen? I don't know what. I'm not sure sometimes if you go ahead and do this thing. But anyway, I put some of that mint stuff in the thing I was getting ready to tell y'all. I discovered when I taste it, because I taste everything, um, I discovered that that mixed garlic is in vinegar. It has a wonderful taste to it. So, of course, I put uh, a little bit of that, not a little bit, but I put a tablespoon of it in here to boost that flavor. So, mmm. About a half a teaspoon of salt. Alright. Okay. Because remember now we're going to put our flavor package in there. And when we get all that meat stuff, you don't cook this a long time. I only cook um, those noodles. I got them over here draining off to the side. Hold on that one minute. Let me show you something. Okay, we're back. I'm going to go ahead now. I've drained my noodles really, really well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting the noodles in there. Put those noodles, that's four packs of noodles. You probably cook them four or five minutes. Not not long at all. You don't need to cook them long. Because they're going to do a little bit of cooking as you get them mixed here in your, uh, with your veg veggies and your chicken. <clears throat> and because my kids, they, they love these Roman noodles and the taste of them, I added the chicken and the veggies just to boost them a little bit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to keep my heat on high for a few minutes, on medium high rather. And I'm going to go ahead and put each one of these. I got four flavor packs to put on here. I'm going to just empty these flavor packets into the mix here. Okay. Flavor packs are in. And I'm going to put a slight little bit of uh, soy. Just a little bit of soy. My kids love soy sauce. All of them do. They even like to add extra after you get it cooked. They just got that little thing about soy sauce. And of course, you know I'm going to put butter over in here. Okay. Just this, and this is going to be about the equivalent of about a teaspoon of soy sauce. I think soy sauce has that little browned up flavor. Just sort of put it in there, get it going. And uh, we're going to have some good eating here. In a minute or two or so. Okay. So it's good. So that's your romaine noodles with some uh, sauteed peppers and onions. And some little bit of chicken in there. Doesn't that look good? Okay. I'm going to get some, but you can use butter or margarine in here. I got some margarine, don't have any butter, but it'll give me that little extra boost of flavor that I like, I like to get out of noodles. So put that little extra bit in there so when these babies eat this honey, it's going to taste like grandma been in the kitchen uh, making fresh noodles, boiled up a chicken, chopped it, went out in the garden and cut some peppers and onions and came in here and made this skillet of chicken vegetable noodles so see how simple it is to get a good meal going doesn't have to that's why i don't like to eat out and this this meal here i think these packs of noodles cost something like 20 or 25 cents i think 20 or 25 percent per pack so not a whole lot you know it's a real inexpensive gift dish rather and what i'm doing now is just <clears throat> letting the heat stay on a little bit to melt that butter down in there so we got us a meal. It's yummy. 
So make sure you stir it up real good. So everything melts down. Cut that butter melted down in there. Um, I want to put some hot pepper on that, but I'm not going to do the hot pepper thing. The hot pepper uh, might get in large mouthful. I know she likes uh, Texas Pete hot sauce, but she'll put her some Texas Pete on there. I already know that, so I'm not, I'm not going to put any, any uh, pepper on that. I may put a little black pepper, let's see. Now that's salt. But a little bit of black pepper on there will be real good. But that's all there is to it. Just make sure you get everything mixed in. So sprinkle a little black pepper on there for extra added flavor. About a half teaspoon <coughs> of uh, black pepper. You know what black pepper does for a dish. It just brings that flavor up. And with this um, Korean white, what you call white sauce. You know when you go to the Chinese restaurant, you just do that white sauce. He likes that to go with his noodles. So, again, don't cook this too much. I'm going to turn the heat all the way off now. So, in about 11 minutes, we got us a meal. And I'm serious. That's all the time it took. So, it's 6 o'clock in the evening. We're going to have this. And I may make a salad for somebody if they want to eat a salad. Otherwise, we're going to eat this. I've got some of those nice soft rolls. Those are some good rolls. Those Sara Lee rolls that we had yesterday were wonderful. They're new. They were very good. So, people, this ramen noodle, chicken and vegetable stir fried, is done. I'm telling y'all, it is done. It is delicious. It does not take a lot of cooking. I'm sure y'all probably have made this many times over. But this is what the howls are going to have this evening for dinner. I'm going to taste it one more time. Make sure I don't need to add anything else to it. And I'll probably need some salsa with mine. Perfect. It's just right. So, mmm. Yum, yum. Let's do it. Lauren! Okay. Thank y'all for tuning in with me, hanging out. Because I'll tell you what, this is a lazy, lazy day for me. I'm going to sit back and relax in a little while and let you me a plate of this. And you want to eat some now? Yes. Okay. Please. Well, Lauren says she's ready to eat, please. Okay. Let's get her a plate here. How nice that plate's up. Nice plate there. Is that enough or one more? A little bit more. A little bit more. I think she might be hungry. She said a little bit more. Well, let's catch Lauren over here on the side. She is. There we go, darling. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got her plate. You know, Lauren's shy. She go. Did I give you a fork? I got one. Okay. So, anywho, the Roman noodle skillet is now done. And we're just going to let it uh, just sit there in the pan. We don't have any more cooking to do for it, so. Thank y'all again for tuning in. And remember, keep those uh, prayers going up. And shall I say praises going up so your blessings will continue to come down. Because if you know anything about praise, God inhabits those praises. And that's where our blessings are. So we got to keep praising God in order to get those blessings that he bestows upon us. So we have some work to do to get the blessings, y'all. So... Without further delay, I'm going to say to Lou, I'm going to get back over here in my chair and continue to rest. And we're going to have oodles of noodles and probably some cold lemonade uh, later on. And I'm going to just say to you, thank you. And join me again when I cook again. So, love you guys. Keep praying now. 
keep cooking good food and being kind to each other. Thank you. Love you. Toodaloo.